Hey, how it's going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can use your N10 agents workflow in a user interface. Let's say you have been building, you know, workflows on N10, which is self-hosted. I'm not talking about N10, which is available on N10 cloud because those are paid services. Let's say, you know, you are self-hosting N10 through Docker and you have built a workflow and now you want to use that workflow through a webhook, of course, you know, in an user interface. Let's say we want to build an application which is automated by N10 workflows. How can we do that, right? That's the agenda of this video. So if you see here on the screen, we have a lead generation assistant tool. It says, this tool helps you generate leads using Google search, J plus Gemini AI, just type your query below and we'll do the rest. For example, if you see here, I have typed gaming AI startups in India generate leads and it says leads generated successfully and it gives me the list of leads you know hypernova you can see if you go to their websites you know you can find out about hypernova interactive you know uh about these things they have their website absentia vr you know you click on it here you know it gives you about that website absentia very simple thing the of course, idea is not to kind of go deep into generating lead. I already have a couple of videos on lead generation projects, but here I want to show you that how we can, you know, give your N10 workflow a user interface and other people can use it. And you can see this is also deployed on Streamlit Cloud. You can see I have deployed this lead generation AI agents app hyphen anytime dot Streamlit dot app. So we have deployed it on Streamlit Cloud for free, right? And you can find out absentia vr you know virtual real reality you know they have games and whatnot you know everything so you can see this game thingy right so these are all the game gaming startup and you can change it to other startups also let me you can see this is this is how our workflow looks like i will talk about it right uh very simple workflow but this can be any other workflow that's not the main thing here the main thing is you can see I'm running this local host 5678. That's where N10 runs like if you are self-hosting it. And here I have this agentic workflow. You can see this is an agent. We have a webhook. You know, in the webhook, we have an AI agent using Gemini chat model. You can use n number of tools. And then we have function here for a code that basically does do some parsing and stuff and then respond to webhook. So if I show you here, right, let's say, and you can see this is active here and we have of course, we can save this. Let's say active. Now on webhook, this is my production URL. So I have I will show you why this is important. This production URL in this webhook, and this should be post because we're gonna post, and this should all be fine. In the respond, you have to change it to using respond to webhook node, not immediately. It has to be respond to webhook node, and you can always allow origin, you know, for cross origin uh, resource here at a strict. So this is how my uh, webhook looks like I'm doing a post in the AI agent. I have, you know, uh, I have my, uh, you can see a prompt defined below. I have a very good prompt and I have a system message. So this is for my AI agent uh, that I'm doing in the Google Gemini, Gemini chat model. I have my model key, API keys. I'm using 2.0 flash, very simple. And then I have storage tool, which probably I'm not using right now, but I'm just showing you that you can use tools also. That should be fine. You, know, you can use tools, you can use Brave Search, you can use a lot of tools. In this code function, I have this parsing thingy here. You know, run once for each item. Uh, we have this bit of code that features website, email, location, and source. That's what it does, right? And then we have respond to webhook. This is important. We have to use respond to webhook to respond to this webhook. Let's say I have this workflow that I'm showing you. Now, how should I use it in an interface? I cannot give this workflow directly to my client, right? Let's say, otherwise they will take it and they don't need me anymore, right? In that case. So I have shown you exactly this. So let's say I'll come back here in my GitHub repository. I have this lead generation AI agents app. If you go to app.py, let's go to app.py. I'm showing you directly here in the GitHub itself because when you want to deploy a streamlit application, you can deploy it directly through GitHub you know, on Streamlit Cloud. Now here you can see import Streamlit as ST, import request, some page config title markdown. I have a query called enter your lead generation and I have a button called generate leads. Exactly the same thing, this one that you see it over here, right? Now, if submit and query, 
you know, you submit this sending request to AI pipeline, we have to probably put this in a better way because it's even after generating output, it still writes it here. It's it should not write it once the leads are generated. So these are all the status messages: ht dot info, ht dot success, ht dot errors, and so on and so forth. Now this is the most important thing. It's you can, I've also commented here. If you see, it says replace with your actual deployed N T N webhook URL. But how do we do it? Is the question because this is running on my local host. If you click on webhook here, the production URL, this URL we cannot give it to. Uh, Streamlit application because this is not on public internet. This is running. I've self-hosted it. It's running within my own Docker container, right? How do I make it? So for that, I'm using a front door. You know, a front door to kind of get an HTTPS URL. So I'm using NROC for that. I'm using NROC here. You can see NROC. So I know NROC basically says putting your APIs online shouldn't be hard. It's a front door for your, you know, backend that you have built. And if you're running it locally, it basically gives you, you know, uh, URL to kind of work with. So it's very easy to install. You know, you can see I already have been running here. You can see NROC. Uh, my session states is online, right? Uh, Sonu Kumar. Uh, this is the version. Uh, this is the... Uh, and how do you do it? It's very simple. I uh, just have to, I'll show you that. Uh, let me just show you before that. But you can see it's running here. It gives you all the status. Now, let's say you want to install it. Uh, tunneling and all is fine. So basically, it's tunnel that. Let me see download and drop. Yeah, this would be fine. Now, see, I'm on a Mac system, so I can use Homebrew. But you can use any other uh, thing as well, depending on what operating system you are. You have to just do two things. Once you install NROC, if you haven't installed yet in your system, you just have to do NROC config. You have to get an authentication token after signing up. You have to sign up account, sign up on NROC website uh, or the dashboard. It will give you a token. Just run this command and then just do NROC HTTP and this localhost port. You just have to tunnel this 5678. You just come here and say NROC HTTP. So for example, if I show you here, now let me open a new window. In the new window, what you have to do is NROC HTTP, the same thing that you see here, you know, that, that we have written 80. I have to do 5678. It will automatically give me a URL, you know, so that URL we have to take it. Okay, so this is fine. Let me just come here. Uh, here, lead generation. And you see it over here, right? Now, uh, if I come back, see, this is important. You see this webhook slash 4e2, this production thing. I have not changed that. Okay, this remains the same. Webhook, this piece of the uh, URL. Now, this piece of the URL that you see comes from NROC. Okay, so if I show you NROC, right, it comes from here. You see it over here, right? This one. And you can see localhost 5678 is now tunneled with this URL. Okay, basically uh, it's a front door that we created. And it will start giving you for each execution, you will get 200. If you are not getting 200, it means something is wrong. You can see here 404 found, you know, because it was inactivated on anything. So now we have given it over here, you know, the webhook. And we have then basic stimulate thingy over here, you know, that generates. It takes the query that we give. You can see the query should be JSON. You, know, you have to give a JSON query here and then we get the output and that's what we exactly got here. You can see now you can change this also. I just want to show you that, you know, we are not kind of hard coded stuff here. If I control C. Excuse me. Here, if you paste it. AI startups hiring in India, it execute. You know that uh, you can see here fractal analytics, tiger analytics, mu sigma, and stuff. It basically gives us all this information, and this have been executed. So if you go to executions, you can find out the. You can see this will get a refresh a bit, I believe. Okay, uh, what's the time? Yeah, you can see 2246 succeeded in three seconds. You can see succeeded in three seconds, and it got executed. You can find out evaluation. So excuse me. You can find out all your executions and edit and come back to editor. So. This is how you can basically, you know, give an interface to your NTN workflow in a very simple manner without paying any money. I'm not paying a single, you know, penny over here. But I don't want to use the NTN uh, cloud by paying 25, 26, whatever dollars per month. You know, uh, I have a workaround for everything that I have been building because you cannot send, let's say, 
of course you can send but sending gmail right through self hosted n10 is a bit difficult you have to configure oauth for, from your google cloud platform but then you use http uh, module or a component and use services like resend to do it so one of the example i'm telling you that i'm not paying anything for whatever workflows i'm building i find a work around you know to kind of uh, use it and you can see uh, this is how tunneling it the only caveat here is that it has to run 24 7 if either it's running locally in your machine or any kind of virtual machine that you have right or any service that you are using but uh, this is how you can give it i hope you got a bit of idea about it make sure this is active this is save you know when this is save you can just you know uh, take this code of course i will now stop this service because you might you might use the webhook url but you can just take this code to try it out and see if if this is working you just have to change this particular thing now this particular thing comes from here webhook go to webhook production url take the production url and then just do nroc http 5678 get the url and then do it that's it that's all for this video guys i wanted to show you something you know because a lot of people are working with n and might not been working with you know uh interfaces on that and not only streamlit you can literally use that in react application or any kind of mobile applications also that should be completely fine let me know if you have any uh, you know questions or thoughts in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channel find those information on channel banner and channel about us if you like the video please hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos in near future that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.